episode of Rod and Style Radio is brought to you by Martin's Rod and Custom. Uh, it's a wonderful business in Lampasas, Texas. They have been building hot rods for over 18 years where you'll meet the owner, Brent, and all their lovely teams. So if you need any car building or any fun projects, definitely head to martinsrodandcustom.com and you can check them out yourself. They're even selling some really cool cars on there, but be sure to check it out. You're listening to Rod and Style Radio, the latest podcast brought to you by RodandStyle.com, which is where you can find links for merch, videos from our YouTube channel, along with stories and tech talk from some of the greatest folks in the culture. So grab the wheel, it's about to get wild. You've tuned in to Rod and Style. Chad and Mike back on yeah. the mic with us. Uh, we talked with y'all just a little bit before y'all show uh, the pre-war pileup, and then we got a chance to actually be at pre-war pileup with y'all. Uh, one of the few shows we were actually ma- able to make it out in person with. So absolutely thanks for showing back up on the, the custom couple show here on Rod and Style Radio. Heck yeah. Yeah, thanks for having us. Of course. I think that was the first time we've ever tried to do two shows in one day. And it was so much fun, but I was so exhausted at the end of the day. I was like, I am fried. I have lost 10 pounds of sweat. I was like, I'm ready to go to bed. (laughs) Yeah, it was warm. Yeah, it got pretty hot. Yeah, so... Uh, the last time y'all were on the podcast, uh, Sama was not allowed to be on the mic. No, it wasn't that. It's was like you shooed me away. <laughs> I wasn't even here. <laughs> no, she uh, she actually changed profession professions, folks. So no more of these uh, nurse issues no. of not being able to be on podcasts with us. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm done for now. So. But tell us, guys, how did your first uh, round of pre-war pileup, how did that work for y'all? Man, it was awesome. We had a great time, and uh, we had a pretty good turnout. I think we had close to 50 cars. Um, We had about, I think, what, 30, 35 registered cars. And then we had, in our post-war pileup area, we had quite a few cars and then we had some from uh, the early ford v8 club which we're members of they came out and supported us too so we probably had about 50 cars and uh man everybody was just a great time everybody got, you know <laughs> had a lot of fun the uh the reliability run was a lot of fun too we took off on uh, friday about two o'clock and uh did uh what four or five stops along six and had a good time Man, that that's awesome. We didn't get a chance to be out at the reliability run because we had come up the morning of. But uh, you know, I think uh, for next year that might be in the works because we actually might have a couple cars that will be joining us in some of the uh, the fun that mm-hmm. we get to do next year. So uh, awesome! That that's definitely going to be uh, a plan of ours. We got well, a good. chance to meet. Uh, a guy from Texas that came all the way up. Mm-hmm. Um, a good couple, like a good group of people from Texas came up for that show. It was pretty interesting because these are people I've never even met. Yeah. And, you know, the, the idea of y'all show how it was, uh, you know, pre-war cars, you know, you had stipulations on uh, the engine sizes that could be in these cars. Mm-hmm. They had to be early engines. You know, all of that, it was really cool to see some of the the folks that had brought out cars and from how far they drove these cars. So uh, I bet that reliability run, seeing all of them together on the road was absolutely awesome. I think my favorite part was seeing that lady that kept driving around and around and around. And then the guy who had like the cop looking car started following her, making the siren noise. That was perfect. That was like the best thing we could have seen. Um, Yeah, that was great. 
I, I absolutely love it. I really love the location that you guys had it at. It was there's so much potential for that for that ground out there. It was just so nice. I absolutely loved it. We had fun. I got to take a lot of cool pictures with cars. We finally got to meet y'all in person and hang out. So I think it's going to be another one in the books when y'all come up and bring it up again. We'll be out there. Absolutely. Well, we've already uh, we've already reserved the park for next year, so it's on. Nice. Even very better. cool. Do you already have a date for it? Uh, yes, it will be June 9th and 10th, 2023. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Of course, uh, for all of our listeners out there, we'll definitely do, uh, another recap with y'all closer to then, uh, as y'all prepare for the second annual. So that's cool. really cool. And then y'all also had, uh, for all our listeners who didn't get to go to the show, uh, we had a couple people give out trophies. So Rod and Style gave out a trophy. And it went to Dave Jensen, and he had a 1935 Ford Roadster. And that thing was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It was so beautiful. I couldn't stop staring at it. It was so nice. And he was actually a really nice, you know, older gentleman. He was like, you can come next to it. I'm like, I'm fine. I'll stay over here. It is so pretty. I don't want to go near it. (laughs) Yeah, Dave's an animal. He's a... he puts us guys to shame. He's in the shop working all the time. He's probably what eighty five, yeah, somewhere in there, and he's working on cars and building cars. And yeah, he's like, I don't know. He's he's just like hot rod hierarchy or something for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where where is he based out of? Uh, Bartlesville, which is uh, about forty five minutes north of Tulsa. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. one of the cool things for us, you know. Uh, not having gotten on the road a whole lot yet this year, uh, we've started making some trips and we've got a few more planned for this year and then in the, into the beginning of next. Uh, going through Tulsa and then hitting, you know, what the the iconic, you know, historic uh, Highway 66, Route 66, uh, and uh, we passed up that blue whale. And yep. uh, neither of us knew what it what that was about. I just and thought then, it was uh, so cool. <laughs> so we stopped and we were like, "What is this?" And then come to find out, it you know it was like one of the the you know main it's stops for Route sixty six for you to stop and take a, a photo op, right? So yep. we yeah. we did exactly that. <laughs> yeah, it was our first stop on the uh, reliability run, actually. Oh, was it's it? On- uh, maybe a half mile from the park. So we took off from the park and drove a half mile right to the blue whale for our first stop. <laughs> we stuck a, <laughs> we stuck a Johnny chop sticker out there on their oh, little, dude. yeah, where they sell the snow cones. I was like, I have one sticker and it's not even ours. It's a Johnny chop sticker. I'm going to stick it right on there, <laughs> but we got to get some pictures and, uh it was really nice i thought it was really cool there was a really nice lady who took our picture but i was just scared to get on that thing because i was like what if i fall because i can't swim this is going to be really gross if i fall in (laughs) yeah yeah she would have been turtle food for sure folks yeah (laughs) awesome so what out of this year, how it went for y'all? Uh, what do y'all have planned for next year? You have any any changes in the, in the ideas of how you want to do it, or uh, anything specific that you want to add or take away from next year? Honestly, it went really well. Um, man, if we could just do like we did this time, I'd be happy. Yeah, you know, we think, all had a great time. I think we'll just keep it the same until we we uh, have some issues, but. We had so many positive comments about the car show and everybody asking us, you are going to do this again next year, right? Aww. We're going to be here, you know, and we're like, well, I guess we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the best compliment to hear is like, oh. you're going to do it right because we want to come back. Like That's just that's yeah. really awesome that y'all had a lot of positive feedback. I think it was it was a really it was a. I think the layout and everything with y'all and how y'all had it set up and everyone, all the help y'all had, it was just such like a wholesome show. Like, I, I know that sounds really funny to say it like that, but it was just like one of those days where you're like, man, like, I'm glad we came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trust, trust yeah. me, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave. I really didn't. It was such a fun show. We yeah. didn't really want to leave neither. No. <laughs> one of the, the coolest things about the show for me was after it was over, there was a group of people that stayed and helped us take down the tents 
And then there was about 25 of us that actually went out to dinner together. Oh, wow. Oh, I bet, I bet that was cool seeing, seeing that. Almost, almost kind of like a, a family, you know? Yeah. We all just kind of hung out, and it was kind of crazy. Nobody wanted to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, what were y'all able to bring to the show this year? What were the cars that that uh, y'all were working on coming up in you know before the show happened? Me and Mike scrambled. We also put on the Tulsa swap meet, so we've been working on that most of the year. And in between, we I was building a thirty four five one to coupe, and Mike was building a thirty one uh, Phaeton Deluxe. I mean, from ground up, these cars didn't run six months ago, and you know they were just bunch of parts and, yeah. and we scrambled to get them all put together for the car show i got mine done um uh, thursday morning about 5 a.m <laughs> mike he had already done it had been taking it on a few test drives so. yeah i had about five miles on it before we took off from the reliability run <laughs> so oh my gosh <laughs> it worked we met a guy there at the show that came all the way up from the the Houston area. Yeah. And I am and of course as soon as I hit record on anything, my brain goes completely blank. Yep. And and I always just have these horrible brain farts in the middle of needing to know information, right? Um but uh funny story is is we meet him and he and you know, we're looking at this card and I'm recognizing this card and I'm looking all around it. And I'm I'm recognizing stickers on it. And you know, it was a uh, Model A coupe uh, that belonged to a friend of ours uh, that passed away last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, John was uh, was the guy's name. Uh, and for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of the guy that we sat there. Billy Dawson. Dawson. Billy yeah, Dawson. Billy. I like yeah, his Billy. name. That's the only reason why I remember it. He has a garage, <laughs> yeah. and he was talking to us about your car that's coming home. But absolutely amazing guy. He was really nice. He was telling us yeah. about the car and how he came into uh, play of having the car. So it was a really nice little, like, touch moment where it's like, wow. like Because I remember we were staring at that car for a bit. I was like, we've seen this car. Mm-hmm. I just don't know who had like i know we just seen it and so it was very like oh my god like you knew john and it was just nice to talk and reminisce about the car and him and it was just it was really nice yeah so my bad billy (laughs) if you're listening to this my bad it's not it's not bad i remembered yeah yeah sam (laughs) remembers these things for me i go into these spurts of just having brain farts and (laughs) You know, it's like I I can remember everybody and every car they ever owned, but I can't remember their name. Yep, that's about right. <laughs> but no, we got to meet a couple of people who have listened to us from y'all's episode when we promoted oh. the show first, and they came up. We got a couple of people coming up to us, and it was really nice. They were asking, they're like, "Oh, we we didn't know if you were really gonna come." I was like, "No, we're gonna. We said we're gonna show up. We're gonna show up." Yeah. Right. Ten hours later, but we did it. Surprised <laughs> me. I forgot you were, you guys were coming. <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> no, that was uh that was a, a great time to, you know, that we were able to have with y'all. Uh, you know, we, we said, Hey, we're going to be in the area. Cause of course my folks live right on the other side of the Texas border from y'all. So it wasn't a bad drive. You know, we, we got to go hang out with my parents and, and then cool. uh, go see a bunch of cars. I mean, how yeah. you know? How could you be mad at that? You yeah. can't beat that. <laughs> so, y'all have also been hitting up a bunch of swap meets uh, recently. Uh, is there anything in particular that y'all are building for right now, or searching for parts? Huh. We're always looking for uh, early Ford parts, uh, forty Chevy accessory type stuff. Uh, we buy and sell a lot of parts, but we. We've been hitting all the swap meets. We just got back from Iola, Wisconsin, and uh, that was a great swap meet. It was uh, 103 in Oklahoma, and it was about 80 there, so that was nice, too. Yeah. A perfect reason to be out of Oklahoma, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw y'all's uh, haul from that swap meet. Y'all, you know, it looked like y'all cleaned up pretty good. Yeah, I was just, I was wondering, you know, since y'all are bringing home so much stuff that, uh, you know, if the, if you'll, if you've got a build that you're actually trying to start hoarding stuff for. 
I do. I'm, uh, I've got a 35 Ford coupe, five window coupe that I'm uh, collecting parts for. And, and uh, hopefully I'm in the kind of in the process of finishing my new shop. And as soon as I get that done, I'm going to start building that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, I bet 35 and 36 Fords are just absolutely beautiful cars. Uh, yeah, especially the coupes. I, I've always got a you know a soft spot for coupes, anything coupe really. But um, yeah, but thirty five and thirty six, that those the, that body style is just absolutely uh, amazing. I, I know a couple of people who have recently uh, come into thirty uh, sixes, and I, that that's definitely a, a bucket list car for myself. Yeah, that was a pretty magical time. They did. They had some really, really neat designs from, from that era. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, is there uh, is there any folks that you want to give some shout outs to as far as like that helped y'all out with this show? Absolutely. Uh, our friend Val from California flew all the way in to help run the swag tent. Oh yeah, she was really nice. She was so nice she, when we talked to her. Awesome. Yeah, we we didn't have to do anything but give her the password to the square reader. <laughs> that was it. She just took care of it. She kind of took over and yeah. took charge, and that was, that was awesome. Yeah. Our buddies uh, Dave and John worked the gate. I'm sorry. Our buddies John and Jason worked the gate for us and took care of that. We didn't have to help them with that. Me and Mike really just kind of ran around with our heads cut off and, and put out little fires and tried to talk to people but there were so many of our friends there that wanted to talk to us and we just didn't have time to speak to everyone so that's uh, that's always how it ends up with some of these events i've i've put on events uh sama and i have put on a few events of you know where they just get so big and you want to talk to everybody that you possibly can and you're busy at the same time as trying to run it and, and you know definitely the people that are helping you run these events that you know those are the the angels and all of this because they really make sure things go well when you're losing your mind of, over it i think the funniest <laughs> thing about going to shows and you know realizing how many people are going i am the worst person at time management i think i have so much time and then i blink and the whole show's over and i'm like we didn't yeah. even see half the people we said and then we'll get <laughs> messages about it I mean, like y'all didn't mm-hmm. look for me i'm like when i really did not have time like i just blinked and it was over and i was like whoa wait a minute and so i yeah. know with us soon we'll be uh, the MCs for Atomic Prom down here in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I'm like so excited for it, but I'm also like really nervous because I'm like, oh God, how many people are going to come see us and want to hang out? And I'm not going to remember anything. <laughs> I'm just going to try yep. and hope that I can get through the sh- through the through the little party <laughs> we're going to have. Yeah. Well, me and Mike were the only two running around. Everybody was trying to talk to us, but everybody else at the car show was just super. <laughs> back and just relaxed and just enjoying themselves which that's what we really wanted was just a bunch of friends to show up and just have a good time you know yeah just hang out have fun i really think that that's really what it was uh er, you know we saw that firsthand Mm -hmm. you know everybody was just having a good time uh who was the band that you had playing they were absolutely Mm -hmm. amazing oh man Uh. (laughs) you just put them on the spot (laughs) (laughs) oh my bad oh man you gotta give me a heads up on that one we were were trying desperately to find a band that could play pre-war type music and that's almost impossible yeah and uh at least around here i'm sure there's you know we just didn't find anybody and we found a guy from uh the early ford v8 club that had a band and we actually went out and listened to him and they were great And we talked to him and he said, man, I'm booked that day. So he said, we'll find you somebody. And they found these guys and I called them and they showed up and played and they were really good. It really worked out pretty well. It wasn't like pre-war type music, but they, they had the kind of twangy slide guitar guitar and stuff. And it was, it worked out perfect. Well, they, they definitely were, uh, doing a a bunch of, uh, Bob Wills tunes, which is big down here in South Texas, uh, and so, you know, that could be considered, you know, Texas swing and, and uh, yeah, that dates into the 1920s and 30s. So that can be considered pre-war, but they were yeah. just 
you know, phenomenal. And from talking with them, uh, you know, I think we had, there was three of them on stage, but really they they had like five or six members in their band. And yeah, because their 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 fiddler player fiddler player can't yeah. even pronounce that uh, couldn't be at the show. And they were, I remember they were talking about it with us after the show. But yeah. yeah, they were they were absolutely they were fun to talk with too. Yeah, in between their sets, we we got a chance to to speak with them, and uh, yeah, of course I you know Salmon knows we get out we try to dance at a lot of things. It was a little hot that day for us to be trying to dance. It was too hot. <laughs> it wasn't gonna work. But I their tried. music had had toes tapping. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. It was it was the buckle up band. And I, I apologize for not remembering that. <laughs> Buckle up, yeah, yeah. That 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 does sound like it. Uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Hopefully, uh, y'all can get them booked again for next year. Maybe a couple acts for next year. That'd be cool too. Yeah, yeah. We do we do want a couple things like that. I think we want to try to work on the swap meet area and uh, kind of build on that. We had a, a couple guys set up and it went real well for them. And I think we'll try to work on that a little bit. And, and uh, I'd like to get some more motorcycles out there. Oh, y'all did have a couple bikes. That was cool to see. Yeah, uh, I had my uh, 56 Panhead, and my buddy Sam had his uh, 48 Indian Chief. And that thing's amazing. I know they're not pre-war, but they're kinda, they kind of fit the theme. So Yeah, they got the right vibe going. Yeah. Yeah, you don't you don't see a whole lot of uh, classic bikes out at at you know events like this. Uh, you know, of course, you know cars is always going to be you know easier to attain when it comes to older uh, vehicles. But seeing yeah. some of the, the older bikes like that, I'd love to see more next year if uh, if more folks can get out to it. Um, you know, I think uh, having a, a bigger swap meet will bring in more of a crowd. Absolutely. You, you know, uh, you did have one uh, couple there that looked like they were selling like some, uh, you know, early speed parts that, yeah, yeah. you know, that that's the kind of stuff that, I, you know, I'm always trying to dig through and find cool yep. shit. I'm going to be picking up a Mercury uh, in mm-hmm. August. Wait, yeah. And uh, there was a uh, a black Mercury parked in the post-war side of the, the car show. Mm-hmm. And that belongs to a guy that I've been friends with for years on social media. And I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't able to talk to him in person. I, I kept missing, you know, it, it, I never saw him come back to his car and then we'd walk and then I'd come back around. And, and so Mick, oh. if you listen to this podcast, uh, one of these yeah. days that we get up into Oklahoma, we're going to have to hang out. Cause what, what car club or, uh, what did you tell uh, me about him? Uh, Mick is, they do the stray cat 500. There you go. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, out of the, uh, Dewey, Oklahoma, right? Yeah, they did a they did a trophy for us uh, to give away and had their pick too. And that was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that that's great. Uh, who else uh, gave out trophies at y'all's show? Uh, the Hot Rod Garage, Jason and uh, Jim, and Jason and Jim over there. Jason put together a trophy and and gave away his pick. It was a thirty two Ford Roadster, Very and then. Cool. Uh, away my own personal pick i just i put a trophy together and i picked uh brandon van sistine he had a heavy chopped model a five window coupe that was just sweaty and killer yeah it was, cool. it was perfect so he ended up getting my my pick so and then uh layton from the early ford v8 club of tulsa did one too and they picked uh toby robinson's 32 ford coupe five window coupe yeah, yeah. You know what's funny is uh, Rob was out there uh, from Shamrock, yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, we we didn't get a chance to talk with him either. But we saw him the following weekend uh, at Scratch's Garage for mm-hmm. Hot Rods and Hot Dogs, and uh, we we asked him, "Is like, how'd you how'd you like Oklahoma?" And he's like, "I knew I saw y'all out there." <laughs> <laughs> Rob the hoot. He's a blast. Oh, he's fun to talk to. I, I bet we could get yeah. probably about ten hours of podcast content yeah. from him easily. It would be I'm talking too. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even have to introduce the show. I think that's no. all we would do is like, "Welcome yeah. to Rod and Style Radio." Here's Rob. Yeah, 
Done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that would be a hoot. I, I'll I'll have to get with him the next time we we head up there to Fort Worth and hang out with the guys again. Yeah, good. All right, folks. Well. We will cut it short and we will let uh, Chad and Mike get back to their normal lives and we're going to get back to ours. Uh, is there any any other folks that you would like to give out some information for or let people know where you can find uh, uh, information about pre-war pileup? Uh, if you want to go to our website, it's prewarpileup.com and uh, pre-war pileup on Instagram and uh, Facebook. We'll have all kinds of information on there and we'll be updating that. So. Uh, we got the dates of uh, June 10th and 11th, I believe it was. And uh, we've got some uh, swag, some T-shirts and hats on there, too, if anybody's interested. So, yeah, if you missed the show and you didn't get to make it out, you can run over there to the website and grab a hat or a shirt and some stickers. So, Absolutely. And, of course, all, you know the proceeds from all of that go to helping uh, put this on again next year. So uh, definitely go and uh, check out Pre-War Pileup, and you'll, you will see us next June, June uh, 9th and 10th. Uh, the custom couple will be out there hanging out with you. Uh, folks, if you're listening to this on Apple, please go and leave us a rating and a review. And if you're listening to, the, listening to this on Spotify, you can also leave us a rating on there. That helps Chuck let us know that we get to keep our jobs for one more week. So please. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, of course, in all things custom, keep it cool. Stay wild. <laughs>